okay, doing a condenser change on this. I've just got half well started it and then I thought I might video it. So I've got the old condenser off. Just doing the new one and it's riveted together. So we've had to cut the rivets off of the car with the grinder because it fits in sits down in between the channels and the rivets were catching so we've got some black paint and we'll uh, give it a great coat of paint. Okay, got the other side done. Okay, we've got the condenser brazed in. Um, one of the things that's a bit of a pain with Surat stuff is they tend to silver solder everything, even copper to copper, which I mean, is probably a better joint. But I, I just lazy and I don't like cleaning the flux off afterwards. But anyway, we think we've got that one. And that one, which is more difficult to get at, actually looks a better joint. But uh, we'll have to go around it with nitrogen when we're done. So that's that done. I'll we'll put the fans back on the electrical box. I'm going to take the compressor off and change the oil because this was on R22 and we're going to run it on 449A. And then we've got expansion valves and solenoids to change inside. And if we get time, we'll do the bottom one, otherwise, we'll have to come back. I've not done one of these before, so I don't know how, how long it's going to take. Anyway, it looks like they've actually got the holes ready marked or punched for the fan and there's two holes diagonally so I think they're going to be for the electrical box so that'll save drilling and uh, so on. Yeah. Okay, so it's the top one we're doing. So we've got a new valve that will just braze in. And we've got the solder adapter. I have to find out what orifice it's got in there because it's going to be about the same. I think 22 and 449A are pretty much equivalent. We've got that 38 solenoid which is new, which we fitted when it should have been a quarter inch, so we took it out again. So that'll go there. And then we've got a sight glass to go somewhere. And we've got a dryer which we might stick here. These, used, these are um, automotive style ones, they're like a little receiver dryer. Um, so they're only half um, the bottom half's full of beads, the top half's just a gap. So we're, we're just going to go back with a standard one. Okay, got the new valve, expansion valve, solenoid, sight glass and dryer. Luckily they're all fitted in. That one will be a bit tighter. Probably have to put the dryer down here. Okay, got the compressor off. We'll see how much oil we can tip into there. Just looking at it now, see if we can find the oil quantity. ZR40. I think we had about one litre out of it the other day. We've got a bit more out of it this time. So it might have brought a bit back. Is that yeah, we um ester oils are better? Right, the oil oil specs is one point one two litres that I found online. I thought they were a bit more actually, and this is this has got a bit more in it, but I don't know. Okay, we've got the compressor back on, uh, 
I've got it filled with oil. I've got some nitrogen in there now. I think I might have started this a bit too soon. It's still dropping. Give it 10 minutes and see if it stops dropping. If it keeps going, then we know we've got a problem somewhere. take a while for it to equalise around the whole system. Okay, just got to run in. Yes. Yeah. 